afternoon. I thought I'd do uh, the second challenge of the uh, motorbike community Think Bike, Think Biker challenges. That's challenge number two. And it's H, which means having a laugh or telling a funny story. So uh, I thought I'd tell you a story, another story about my father and uh, the problems he has with technology, modern technology. I remember one day I went round to his house and uh, he'd not long got himself a, a computer and uh, he was ever so excited about it, bless him. He says, hey, come here, have a look at this. <laughs> oh God, here we go. So I had a look and uh, he says, look, I can go on the, uh, on the internet, I can book holidays. I said, yeah, I know you can. See, I can even go and uh, find my hotel and look at the rooms. He says, I know you can, Dad. The internet's been around for about 20 years. <laughs> oh dear, bless him. It was almost like he'd invented it. And um, I remember another time I went round, he had this bloody clock and um, it wasn't right, the time was totally incorrect. And I said to him, Dad, that clock up there on that shelf hasn't got the right time on it. He says, oh, I know it hasn't. I said, well, why have you put it up? He said, well, it's a nice looking clock. I said, well, why don't you just put it right then the time? He says, oh, I can't. I'm not, I don't know how to. So oh, I don't believe it. So I says, so you've, you mean to say you've had a clock and you can't put the time right? So rather than just put it away in the box and not worry about it, you've put it out anyway. He says, yeah. I just couldn't believe it. So I says, give it here. So anyway, I took the clock and I put the bloody time right for him and put it back on the shelf. So there you go, that's better. Now you've got a clock that looks nice and also has the right time on it. Another time, I went round and uh, he'd got himself a Wii. Now, even I haven't got a Wii. And he says to us, have a look at this, I've got a new game for me, Wii. I thought, here we go. He says, what is it, Dad? He says, um, it's called the Titanic. And it's a mystery. I said, well, Dad, there's no mystery. So what do you mean? He said, well, the bloody thing sinks. And uh, he says, no, 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 it's, it's a murder mystery. I says, but Dad, it's about the Titanic. And I can tell you now what's going to bloody happen. There'll be lots of murders. Well, lots of people dying, and there's a bloody ship that's going to go down. Well, you should have seen his little face. It's almost like I'd spoiled the plot for him. And uh, the last story I'll tell you about him was that um, he had this bloody iPad for Christmas. Uh, my stepmother bought it him, I don't know why. He had got a good clue how to use it. Anyway, I spent a good while setting it up for him. And I said, oh, Dad, it needs a password. Can you give me something fairly memorable? Anyway, he went away and I thought, what on earth is he really doing? Anyway, he went to this cupboard, or this drawer he'd got in his living room, and he took out this bloody book. And honest to God, this book was full to the brim of passwords. Passwords for this and passwords for that. I says, what on earth have you got there, Dad? He says, oh, it's my, it's my password book. I write them all down in case I forget. I said, Dad, why don't you just have one password for everything? And then that way, you'll never forget. Well, he never saw... He didn't see the logic in that. That was shocking. Sure I thought, I just don't believe it. Why are you like that? Anyway, there you go, guys. They're my... Uh, reasonably funny stories about my father and modern day technology so uh, last thing to do is to say uh, ride safe don't forget think bike think biker and I'll catch you next time good afternoon everybody thought I'd do the uh, second of the uh, motorbike community dot com uh, challenges that's challenge number two and that's H for good afternoon I thought I'd do the uh, second of the uh, motorbike community websites challenges 
it had quite a lot of very positive reviews. Uh, the other thing I like about this helmet, it comes with an internal visor.